the show scheduled for Connecticut. And a case of meningitis takes the life of a University of Hartford student. How the school is working to keep the rest of campus healthy. Thanks a lot for joining us this evening. I'm Audrey Kuchin. We're learning more about the University of Hartford student who died this weekend from a rare infection, bacterial meningitis. Tonight, how the school is responding. Fox Connecticut's Mike Greifsick joins us to explain if anyone else will be at risk. Mike? Audrey Patrick uh, Chinnington died from a type of bacterial meningitis which causes the area around the brain to swell, which eventually can lead to seizures and coma. Doctors say around 15% of people will die from this. Most medication and vaccination is said to protect people from this. The University of Hartford says Patrick Chittenden lived in an off-campus apartment in West Hartford, but his case kept the on-campus health services open today in case students had any fears they would also be affected. It's kind of a close-knit community here, so things spread pretty fast. I wasn't as scared as if the student had lived on campus, but the school did do a really good job of kind of raising awareness about meningitis. The university says its students are required to receive a vaccination for this type of meningitis before enrolling. Dr. Jack Ross, the chief of infectious disease and epidemiology at Hartford Hospital, says it's rare someone would die from bacterial meningitis, especially after being vaccinated. That vaccine lasts for about five years. So most college students, unless they're on the extended uh, uh, college plan, are protected while they're there. Dr. Ross says the virus is transmitted when people are in close contact with one another for long periods of time. It's spread through mucus, coughing, sneezing, and kissing. It is difficult to get. It is many, many times less uh, infectious than flu or the common cold. And generally, you have to have prolonged contact uh, within about three feet of somebody or less. The university is working with the West Hartford Bloomfield Health District to ensure no other students are affected, including those who lived with Chittenden at his off-campus apartment. Everybody is healthy and everybody was seen by the medical provider and was, was you know, taken care of appropriately according to the medical provider. UHART's on-campus health service will be open for extended hours through Wednesday. It advises anyone that's had close contact with Patrick during the past three weeks and has these symptoms on the screen to visit an emergency room. Mike Kravcik, Fox, Connecticut.